Okay, uh, in this brief uh, movie, I'm going to be illustrating uh, the design recipe as it applies to the problem of taking a string, separating it into integers, uh, and adding those together. I've created a project called Example String Parsing Project and a package called String Parse and Add, and yes, it probably should have begun with a lowercase letter. Let's start by creating a new JUnit test case. So for Java development, uh, you can put an awful lot in, in a JUnit 4 uh, test case. In particular, in this case, the method that I'm going to be developing is uh, a static method, uh, and so uh, I can just actually sling everything into the JUnit test case. I'm sorry, I forgot to create that because I'm talking too much. String parse and add. Very well. Uh, I now have a test case, and in fact, I can run it. With luck, it fails. Yes, it does, it fails. Okay, step one of the design recipe is to think about the kinds of data that I'm gonna be using. For this particular problem, all I need to deal with is strings. Step two of the design recipe is to write the purpose statement and header for the function that I'm developing. Separate a string into numbers and add them together. Here we go, it's probably gonna return an integer. And it's going to be called string parse and add. It's going to take a string as an argument. I am not going to write the body. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, helpful Eclipse person thing. What I'm going to do next is step three, and that is to develop a test case for it. Public void test um, things. I personally uh, am not enamored of the way that JUnit requires, or encourages at least, many small test methods. I think I have better things to do with my time. So uh, I am in fact going to put all of my assert equals into uh, this one test method. Okay, so here we go. I want to test uh, I want to test for this. Probably the simplest one I should try, the base case, is something like this. Assert equals uh, now, I want to type in the thing that I'm running before the expected print result. String parse and uh, add of an empty string. I think that should probably produce zero. Okay. Uh, assert equals string parse and add of the string three and four and five uh, should produce uh, seven plus five is 12. Okay. Now you may be wondering about the specification of the problem and what exactly must separate uh, the uh, integers. And it turns out that the problem specifies that they can be separated by blanks, commas, uh, or new lines. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take this as my basic framework. And the first thing I'm gonna observe here is, see this and here? And that and? Okay, what I take from that is that this is actually two different functions masquerading as one. Forgive me, I neglected to mention that this is static. Specifically, uh, I want to develop uh, a function that separates a string into a list of integers and uh, one that adds together a list of integers. Which of those, these are two functions on my uh, wish list. Uh, at this point, it's very easy to write the main method. It's just going to be, um, what are these things going to be called? Um, string uh, list of integer string things to uh, ints. String, string s. And this guy down here is going to be int uh, add ints, and it's going to take in a list of integers. Okay, which of these? Once I've got these guys, this thing is going to be super easy. I'm just going to say uh, return uh, add ints of strings to ints of s. Great, I'm done. However, I do have to implement my uh, some oh stupid static. Thank you. 
Yes, we're object oriented, aren't we? Okay, and now we can take advantage of uh, Goofy Eclipse's helpful things to add some special stuff here. Okay, great. Add ints. Okay, uh, that looks great. What are we upset about here? La 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 la. I see we've forgotten. Uh, to specify these. Okay, great. Now that guy's happy, and all we need to do are develop these other two. Okay. Uh, let's do the second one first because it's going to be easier. Public void test add ints. And now we're going to say assert equals. I want to add together some integers. Uh, the result of adding together the empty one uh, should be nothing. Add ints. Uh, these guys. Mm -hmm. uh, set equals of uh, uh, three and four. Uh, that should produce seven. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now it's time for us to get peeved about more irritating problems with Java. Specifically, I cannot embed an array uh, in that particular way. Okay, what I need is an array list uh, into AL1 uh, is uh, new array list. I hate all this typing, really, I do. Uh, and then we have array list of AL2 equals new. List arrays dot of two lists from list. Uh oh, need time to visit the API here. Mm, as list, that's right. Uh, arrays dot as list. Uh, three. Can we do that? Yep. AL1, AL2, and we're done. Except for the fact that Java's types are making our lives miserable. Again. Again. Okay, and there we go. Uh, I got some test cases. All right, there we go. Uh, add ints is going to look like this. Four. We have four lists. Why do we need a four list? Uh, essentially, this is a map-like function, uh, which is going to iterate over all of the elements uh, in this array. Integer i from ints. Uh, I'm going to need an accumulator. Int cum equals zero. Cum plus equals i. I. Nice language would not have this problem. Okay. I believe this guy is now correct. I would like to test that. Uh -huh. And let's try taking this guy out too. Okay. And let us now try. Oops. There we go. Okay. Running. Yes, it passes. That's lovely. I'm very happy about that. Okay. Uh, it's now time to develop. Uh, strings to ints. Okay. Uh, at test public void strings to ints. Okay, now we're going to actually worry about the parsing difficulties. Uh, so, specifically, uh, what we want to get back is something like this assert equals, uh, let's say, strings. Uh, to ints. No, that really shouldn't be strings. It should just be string. A string to ints. Mm, test string to ints of three of this one. This is going to produce the empty list. The list. And of course, I cannot declare those inline because Java is wretched that way. Uh, Let's see if we can. Arrays dot uh, as 
list of nothing. Can we do that? Okay. Let's see if that works. Assert equals uh, arrays dot as list three comma four string two ints uh, three and four and assert equals now let's just go whole hog here. I'm gonna do string two ints of uh, the string three f uh, sorry new line four space three space two uh, great love it let's enter the space as well okay come on arrays dot as list uh, we're gonna get four and three and two okay great love it it's not gonna work at all yet because this thing is not fine uh, time to uh, figure this guy out. So what, what can we do with a string? S dot, it turns out that we can split it. Okay, so we're gonna use uh, split, and now we need a regular expression. Ha ha ha, I do love regular expressions. I have no idea what regular expressions look like uh, in Java. That's okay. Uh, string, there's string. Let's take a look at the split method. Split, no, over here, please. Mm -hmm. Split, no, you really want to look over there, don't you? Okay, fine, I'm, I'll just ignore you. And take a look over here and find. Split, 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 split. Oh, I thought it was here. String, is it strings? Am I looking at the wrong thing? Class string, string object. String, a whole bunch of going down, going down. Here we go, split. Uh, and it takes a regular expression represented as a string. Oh, I'm not sure I like that. Very well, okay. Nasty, but uh, we can work with that. Uh, let's go here and this is gonna be, uh, this is where we wish we knew something about um, regular expressions, comma, space, and new line. Hopefully that works. Okay, and now uh, that's going to give us back um, a list of. Let's see what this thing returns. Uh, it gives me back a string array. Okay, uh, I want to convert all of those strings uh, into integers. Oh, my my my. <sighs> String array um, substers equals s dot split of this guy. <sighs> Very well. Shall I now combine this? I mean, if I were really feeling principled about this, I would I would do put the conversion in a separate method. But Java just makes it so awful. I can't bring myself to do it. Uh, return. Instead, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to convert these to a list, list of string, stirs equals uh, raise dot as list of sub stirs, and then I'm going to uh, map these to a new array, and I see, darn it, list. List integer result equals new array list integer and I'm gonna use the, the darn add method because there's no map method built in. It makes me want to cry. For uh, s for string s in thirds do what add. Mm, Result dot add of golly s dot uh, can I say as int? Let's take another look at that. Do 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 and 
to value of. Here we go. Value of this guy. String of no, that's not the one we want. Value string dot value of integer dot two string integer dot string dot two two two. Nope. Okay. Uh, let's look for an integer dot uh, integer dot of two. Mm. Uh, dot from oh for heaven's sake are we going to have to google for this convert string to integer please the professional uses google Con java convert string to thank you very much there we go see okay we'll see if it makes sense La la la, integer dot parse int of string, love it. Dot parse int of uh, s, and that actually looks just dandy. Uh, return result. Okay, now th this this thing looks a bit of a mess, and so I hope that duplicate local variable. Yeah, um, sub s, sure, sub s. I'm okay with that. Thank you, Eclipse. You helped me. This looks totally sketchy to me. In particular, I think it's probably going to fail uh, with leading white space and trailing white space. Uh, it's also certainly going to fail if I have things other than integers uh, in there. Let's see how the test cases behave uh, to begin with to see if we've sort of nailed the, the beginning of this behavior. And the answer is no. Uh, for input, number four, exception for input string empty. Right, okay, exactly. Uh, that's, not that's not unexpected, quite frankly. Um, and there's a couple of things to do about that. Uh, and I think what we really want to do there is, is trim this guy. Um, notice that we are spending a lot of time on the parsing part of this problem. And in fact, it's going to consume most of the bulk of the rest of this thing. For input string empty. No, oh, it's still not liking it. Okay. Uh, so if we, so string not split on this guy. Uh, with an empty string, I would have expected split with, uh, yeah, okay, I'll buy it. Um, I think we're going to have to bite the bullet and throw out the empty ones. <sighs> parsing. Parsing is a nightmare. Can you hear me? Parsing is a nightmare. Okay. Um, we could just eat all the exceptions, but I don't really like the, that idea. If... I think we're going to say if it's entirely white space, then discard it. Uh, maybe we can get by with just discarding those that are of length zero. Um, if s dot subs dot length uh, is greater than zero, then add it. Uh, we're going to try that. My, I'm probably going to like it wrong. Yep. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's try this guy. Okay, now we're happy. It uh, looks like the trim was just picking up that guy. This does raise the question of what, it, what the heck it is we want to have happen uh, on misformed inputs. Um, and I'm not going to worry about that. Okay. Uh, at this point, we now have add ints, which was easy, string to ints, which was big ping. And now we're going to do this guy, um, which might just work. Strings to ints is not a bad Strings, oh, we call it string to ints. Okay, now it's fine. Uh, let's try running this guy again. Yes, it needs to be saved, and yes, it works. And we did not put uh, this test case back in. Let's run this guy again. Okay, we're good. It seems to work. <sighs> yeah. Okay, so now let's take a look at this and see what we could have done better. Uh, in retrospect, I would say that the split approach was sufficiently nasty that a, uh, using the tokenizer uh, would have been cleaner. In particular, I think, um, let's take a quick look at that, the tokenize method here of a string tokenize, tokenize. I think it's here now. No. Um, 
where was token strings dot tokenize tokenize string in uh, string tokenizer. Am I gonna regret this? Uh, tokenize string. Uh, yeah. Okay. String tokenizer. We're, we're getting a lot of hits on string tokenizer. Um, tokenizer. Okay. Uh, take a look at this tokenizer. Uh, probably gonna create this thing. Oh, mm -hmm. string tokenizer. Uh, is it actually usable as a? Uh, alas, it's not. I think I'm just gonna declare victory because it seems to work. Okay, I'm done.